Hey, welcome back to Photoshop with Matt. I'm so excited to bring this new tutorial to you today. Today, we are simply looking at how do you create a multicolor shirt, especially with word art, over the top of a background. So check it out. Okay, so I have my document here. It's 15 inches by 15 inches at 300 DPI. Uh, I had a request to say if I could show how to make a shirt with um, word art and a colored background and kind of how do you make that into a shirt with all the different colors with a bunch of things going on. And so today I wanted to show you how to make a Suicide Squad t-shirt for a multi-screen printing press. This is gonna be a two-part video because there's a lot to get in from start to finish. So first video is all about the design. How do you prep your design to silkscreen? So first things first, let's go ahead and get our image. Uh, all I did ahead of time was I just cropped out the outside, I brought the image in, um, edited out the background, so it's just Jared Leto as the Joker. And first things first, um, when you're working with a silkscreen and you wanna put on a t-shirt, you're gonna have different colors. If you wanna have one color, you only need one screen. But the more colors you want, the more screens you need. So, a easy way to think about it, in this one, I'm probably gonna want four colors. One color is his hair, one color is the glove, one color is his shadows, and another color for the word, okay? And I'm gonna show you kind of a cool trick that not a lot of people are doing, um, how to get the letters to look like that Suicide Squad look on a t-shirt, okay? So that's gonna be in the second video. But today, let's start with Jared Leto. We gotta get this prepped. Don't got a lot of time, so I'm gonna try to rush through some of the basic steps for you today. So Jared Leto, first thing we wanna do is let's select all the shadows. Remember I talked about in the last t-shirt video, if you're gonna print on a light shirt, then you wanna select the shadows, and if you're printing on a dark shirt, then you wanna select the highlights, okay? So we're printing on a white shirt, and we're going to grab the shadows. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab, uh, just right here, I have it set to 97 tolerance and continuous is turned off. So we'll select through the whole image. Let's click, select the middle of the eyeball right here uh, for the shadows and I'll kind of select everything else around here. New layer, I'm gonna name this background, background. And let's go ahead and use the paint, paint bucket and if you hold down Alt, you can get the eyedropper. I'm gonna select uh, this gray color. I think it's a perfect color for us. Select over it, and then turn off our background. That already looks like a t-shirt design, right? It's getting there. Okay, next thing we gotta do is we need the glove and we need that hair. That gorgeous green hair, so bizarre. I love it. Okay, so purple, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, there's a couple ways we can do this, but I think what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna color on layers below to fit this in, and I think that's gonna be the easiest way. So we'll name this one hair, and we'll name another one glove. <clears throat> Put our background on top. So, oops, let's name this glove. Great, okay. Uh, for the glove, turn it to the brush. Make it a little bit smaller, and let's go ahead and select the purple. And all we're gonna do is just color in here. Boom. And when you're printing onto a silk screen, you need to make sure it's all just one flat color, unless you're gonna do some gradient work or shadow. Um, we're not gonna be covering that in this video. But, so the glove is purple, there's some shadows on there. Let's go to the hair, zoom in here. Select a green that you like. I'm gonna select right about there and I'm just looking right down here at the color I'm gonna get and just paint over the, the gap right there. Boom. Looks good. Let's get in there, make it a little smaller, get in this little guy, this little gap. Eh, sure, why not? Over there too. Um, get closer to this edge. Perfect. And we are Set. Okay, now, this, let's turn off the, the main image that we had. Okay, this is a perfect silk screen right now. We could just print this out and we're good to go, but I wanna show you how to add words on the top and especially it, uh, sending out to the silk screen so you can get the full shirt done. Excuse my voice, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but um, I'm like fighting this cold and it's like super annoying, so if you don't like the voice, I apologize. Kinda sounds cool, it's like all raspy. Uh, okay. 
So let's go ahead and jump into here. Um, I downloaded a Suicide Squad font. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this, this bright green purposefully and then jump to the top, click in the font. And I'm gonna name, I'm gonna put the word art as, hmm, I got it. Squad Goals. I like his name in the movie is Puddin. If Puddin's on your side, man, you're good to go. All right, squad goals. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is um, the famous font from the movie was kind of 3D and tilt shifted a little bit. Like it was just tilted. The uh, bottom part was kicked down, the top was kicked back and it just had a little bit of depth of field. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to do um, I call it the cheating 3D method. You still have to be able to use 3D. So you go 3D extrusion from selected layer. Give it a second, it'll pop up. Then knock off, go ahead. You're gonna wanna first click on squad goals. <laughs> That's so funny. Turn off cast shadows, turn off catch shadows. And one thing I wanna do for, extrusion is like cranked way high. So let's go ahead and bring that down. Then next, you're gonna to wanna to move it around till you have that yellow line that's going straight up and down. Click on it and just drag it up till you get it kind of the spot you want. So I'm gonna move it right there. Extrusion still needs to come down a little, little, little bit. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. It's right about where I want it. Cool. All right, now here's the trick. Here's, here's why I call it the cheating method. So we have the 3D lettering, we have the extrusion, and that's, that's really what we want. Um, now you can go in 3D and you can work on the stroking and the layering and the, um, uh, the mesh and getting it all set, uh, but that's not my style. <laughs> I like to just take the font, it looks good to me, and then I just right click and do raster 3D. You can do render 3D, and what it'll do is it'll go in there and it'll specifically render it out. Um, keep in mind, that's anywhere from five minutes to two hours based on your computer. Um, if you have an i7 with 16 gigs of RAM, um, solid state drive, it's gonna take you about 20 to 30 minutes, um, and that's a good computer uh, with a 1080 uh, GTX or whatever. So I'm gonna go rasterize 3D, and we're done. <laughs> so that's, I just like it because it's a little bit quicker, and then one thing I like to do is uh, we have to be able to get this font printed for the silk screen. So in the second video, I'll show how to set that up a little bit better and how to actually print it out for a silk screen. So if you buy a screen on eBay or Craigslist for like 10 bucks, you can print this out and make your own shirt today. Okay, so we have uh, squad goals. First thing I wanna do is I wanna separate the letter from the extrusion. Ex extrusion, Ex extrude? Anyways, I click uh, one of the letters, I make sure it's not selected on continuous, select that, go to new layer, and let's just go ahead and paint an absurd, like weird color over the top. Uh, go ahead and press the paint bucket, done. Okay, now let's make one more layer. So this is the layer that's uh, top font. Um, this is gonna be side font, side font, and go back to squad goals and press selection key. I'm gonna press the side button right there. Go up to side font and let's go ahead and one thing I wanna do on this one is I want to paint it the same color as Jared Leto because we're limited to four colors and if we make the side a different color, then that means we're gonna to have to take away the hair or take away the glove or the font isn't gonna be a great color. So I wanna to try to match that side font to another color that already exists. So if you're designing a graphic and you notice there's like, hey, there's eight colors, is there a way to combine two or three of those so you can only have four colors? Um, so what I wanna do is go ahead and paint that to the same color as Jared Leto and paint. Boom. So it's gonna be 3D and I'm kinda of cheating at it because it's just the same color as our background. Okay, 
squad goals. We have the image, we have everything set, it's ready to go. But you're like, but Matt, the font looks bad. <laughs> like it doesn't look aqua, really? Is that the color we're gonna go with? No, of course it's not the color we're gonna go with. Um, something to keep in mind when you're designing a shirt is it doesn't matter what color you design it as. It doesn't matter at all. You can do everything in the most absurd colors on the history of the earth. What matters is when you export that color, it's gonna be solid black, and then you tag that um, paper to the printer, to the silk screener, and say, I want this in the blue that you got, okay? You can give them a final rendering to say, this is what it should look like, and here's the slates, here's the different colors. But so squad goals, I found this really cool paint texture, uh, paint schmear, I don't know, however you wanna say that. I'm gonna drop it over the top, hit create clipping mask. And then also on this one, I wanna do blending options, <clears throat> stroke inside white, and let's move this up just a hair. So when you, uh, I noticed on some of the graphics around Suicide Squad, they always had a um, kind of like a stroke. It was more like a, um, a diagonal contour that was cut away on the edges, so it looked like it was stroked. But I want to add a stroke on this simply to separate the font from all the chaos of everything else going on. All right, so let's check out our image. This is the first step of how to advance silkscreen with multiple colors, with word art, and having a background. So please join us for episode two as we check out how to actually print it, prep it, and get it onto a t-shirt. Hope you enjoy it. This is Photoshop with Matt. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. If there's a video you wanna see or something you wanna learn how to do, please comment below. I'd love to answer it and make more video content for you. Have a great day. Bye.